Right, but let's start here. Residents of Rivoli and Johannesburg barricaded Main Reef Road today, protesting over rampant illegal mining in their community. Over the weekend, there was a violent clash between rival groups of illegal miners, or Zama Zamas, and that led to the discovery of five bodies in the area. This afternoon, the police minister, Becky Trele, visited Rivoli. He assured the community that those involved in criminal activities would face the full might of the law. ENC senior reporter Avi Umtila was there, joins us now in studio. Avi, well, thank you so much for joining us. The police minister arriving saying... Within 24 hours, things are going to look different. So what's he going to do in the next 24 hours to make a real change for this community that is, without a doubt, under siege? Hold me to my word. That was the one phrase, Sally, that we kept hearing time and again as Police Minister Becky Kele was addressing the very angry crowd, of course, uh, in Rivoli today. Of course, at the backdrop of the many shootings that they say they occur on a daily basis. They know that around this time, around 6 o'clock, is when the guns start to ring out in the turf wars between uh, the illegal miners, which we do now know are Basutu nationals from Police Minister Peggy Gdele. So he says that the immediate intervention is uh, adding those TRT members on the ground, as well as Ama Perete, uh, which are to be deployed immediately. But in the longer term, he says within 24 hours, um, they will have a heavier contingency on the ground, but not wanting to be specific on the actual measures. He says not only that, Sally, um, he has engaged uh, the Mineral Resources Minister, Gwede de Mantasha, in terms of just closing up the holes, which we do understand these illegal miners run into. We do understand, of course, it's turf wars uh, between a rival uh, group of illegal miners that's trying to now uh, claim that area. And uh, at, at the backdrop of that is the community that they run to, and then they directly impacted. But I also say human settlements, for example, uh, those informal settlements needs to be done away with and people actually given proper housing. Some of the issues that they uh, face at all of this. But the reality is, Sally, it took this protest for Minister Begigdele to be on the ground. Something that I actually asked him, because we do know, for example, it's nearly a year now where Kruger's dope uh, rape happened. In fact, it was uh, a year yesterday when that, uh, that horrific gang rape um, on that shoot happened. And we have seen, we saw dramatic arrests, we saw the police minister arrive, and none of those people were connected, it seems. And to the, that crime. the one thing that's that's uh, that's a constant is that it almost seems like it's reactionary because it all um, always happens after these said incidences. For now, it, it had to take these five people dying after something the community says has been happening for at least uh, 12 years. So I put that question to the minister quite pointedly: Why does it seem like you have to come after these protests after uh, the community is actually fed up? He seems to suggest that they actually have a grip on the illegal mining. In fact, let's take a listen to Police Minister Peggy Glenn. Well, it's not true that you have not been responding. Maybe in particular place here, yes. But we have been responding on Zamazama's matters in many other ways. That's why last month, if you follow the news, 87 of these Zamazamas were sentenced to eight years each. Seven of them. So it's not true that there's nothing being done on it. Yes, in particular here. Yesterday, when it happened, the provincial commissioner did send the minimum number of the barrett here, the TRT. We'll keep the TRT here until General Zulu here. General Zulu is responsible for the special operation within the South African police. She will put that plan in 24 hours. But it doesn't mean that because there's been shooting going on, when this comes, we need him to respond. We need to respond, and we are responding decisively. Watch this space. All right. Watch this space, he says. Well, I guess it'll be very easy to see what's going on. I know that you've spoken to the community, and you've got some voices that you're going to play for us, but I wonder if you could just give us the context, because the last time this... Uh, illegal mining trouble flared up in the area. I mean, there were bodies in people's front gardens and people could see um, these criminals running across the ridge with guns. It was terrifying. And th these are people who are just trying to go about their daily lives. And there are dead people in their streets. Um, this community clearly is so fed up that they've taken to protesting themselves, which is why they blocked Main Reef Road here in Johannesburg. Um, what have they told you? I would imagine you've had a chance to have a long discussion with quite a few of them. 
In fact, Sally, many of them have been in those crossfires. I understand just on Tuesday there was a 32-year-old gentleman on his way to work who was caught in the crossfire and the guns were just, the, the bullets hitting his car, for Terrifying. example. So it's, some, it's, a, it's a nightmare for the people of Rivoli. For example, one elderly lady was telling me of two bodies uh, that were at the yards because we understand while they're fighting it off in these turf wars, the illegal miners, they actually run in and find uh, shelters at the homes of the very community members. So they're fed up and they taking what the minister is saying with a bit of pinch of salt. It's a let's give them the 24 hours. In fact, it's mixed reactions, but they generally seem to, to, to well, get that understanding that let's give them the 24 hours. If nothing happens, they promise to be back on the streets if uh, they don't see the eradication, of course, of these illegal miners. Some of those conversations that I had uh, just about an hour ago with the community members of Rivoli, let's take a listen to that. Well, the, uh, the situation is currently very bad. At the end of the day, we have cops here that is not doing their job properly. They want to terrorize the community, but they can't even do their own jobs by going in and, and clearing all this nonsense that's taking place. I mean, our children is mm -hmm. terrified of all the gunshots that's taking place. Who is going to give our children counseling? Who's going to uh, uh, help our children uh, for, for the trauma that has been taking place? I mean, these Zamazamas, they don't care where they dig in. They dig in underneath our houses. Our houses, our, our ceilings are cracked. Our tiles on, on, in, our, in my lounge, you can see it's, 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 it's lifted up because of these Zamazamas. What happened in town can happen here in Rivoli as well. And it will even be more devastating when it does happen here in Rivoli. Does the government want to wait until that happens? When, when, when our houses are sunk down in the ground, who's going to pay for, who's going to pay for, 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 for our, our houses? Who's going to pay us? The, the police minister says that the TRT and Amaperete will be deployed immediately with a stronger force within 24 hours. What's your sentiment as a community? Well, we're going to give him a chance on that to hear what uh, and see. But after 24 hours, nothing happens. We take action again. Okay, Avi, uh, what's been happening here? This incident is not from two days ago, two months ago. It's been ongoing for more than 12 years, where we've engaged with even uh, a government portfolio committee on mining. We've engaged with everybody. Uh, unfortunately, we have never engaged with uh, uh, Minister Gwede Mentasha, but it, it, at least uh, Gwede um, Beckett said came out today. So the 24-hour uh, uh, program that he's going to implement, I hope it succeeds because the community is fed up, as you can see. We have been sent from pillar to post um, when the Zamazamas attack the community. It's not an issue. But now the police are here intimidating us. So we just need we just need a way forward. You know what? Uh, because as I'm saying, after 24 hours, we're going to come back to the streets. But now uh, with the community engagements, some are feeling happy, some are not. But you really need to engage with uh, the community, get back to you guys, and just give you our feedback on what's going to happen. It reminds me a little of Deep Slurt, north of Johannesburg. Again, a community that has been... Uh, under a crime siege for years um, and ultimately the ordinary citizens of the community start protesting because they're so fed up then they get arrested you know um, but the real issue of getting to the heart of criminality and rooting it out doesn't ever seem uh, to be solved sufficiently you left there just a little while ago you said the atmosphere was not not a good one tell me about that First on deep slut, I just wonder how long that deployment of the TRT is going to be in Riverley if what has happened in deep slut uh, is anything to go by. Because we've seen the deployment in, in deep slut and months later they go away and then it goes back to that high levels of crime. And the issue in deep slut was, of course, the infrastructure, they say. There no lights, it's pitch black in the dark, so it's easier to have those levels of crime. But that's not the case in Riverley. I wonder then what uh, the excuse or the issue is going to be there. But uh, going back to your question, then, Sally, tonight, it's difficult to tell. There is that, that, that sort of sentiment that let's wait for that 24 hours. But immediately when police minister and, you know, the police commissioner turned their backs and left uh, the area, you could already see tires being taken out. And there was sort of a cat and mouse already between the police and the community members, a back and forth. And even one gentleman sprayed with a pepper spray there from a the community. So it's not actually certain what's going to happen there. It seems like it could be vol volatile even throughout the night. Yeah, so certainly keep an eye on Rivoli. Abhi Wemtila, our senior reporter, thank you so much uh, for bringing us up to speed.